Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to show you a piece of software that will assist you in backing up your iPhone. There's my phone. And I'm now going to plug it into my laptop. Okay. Now I'm going to open the piece of software, which is this one here, Amazing. And as you can see, there is my iPhone. Now, I want to uh, make sure that you understand this. Even if you're not plugged in, if you've already backed up your iPhone, that will appear because it's going to show you the backup. And, but this, in this instance, I've got it live. So I can double click on that. And that is now showing, as you can see, by these icons across here, all the different icons, all the different data you can access and back up. Um, and you can even add more if you want. Down here we have menus for data. Uh, this is probably drilling down into the actual data itself. It's got icons for different things, like if we click on notes, um, display from latest backup, and that's, that's what happens when you go into whatever, same thing here, display from latest backup, and I'll show you that in a minute. The reason I'm not clicking on it because that takes some time, and uh, we'll cut to that. Um, next menu item here, tools. Now, quick transfer. Now, I haven't any, uh, I'll be upfront, I haven't used any of these yet, but I think they could be of some help. Um, so, quick transfer. So, you can uh, drag files from this computer and put them in there to uh, transfer into your, your phone. So, close that. Manage apps. Now, again, I haven't used it, but from what I understand, it's very good. Uh, my understanding is you can install and delete apps from here. Um, if nothing else, you can get to see just how much space they're taking up. Uh, detect spyware. Again, I haven't used this, but it'll scan the device for um, the most relevant infection um, sort of uh, maps. What I mean by that is that, uh, so I'll read it out. This tool analyzes your device to detect signs of infection by specific spyware. Um, and then we'll, I'm not sure what it'll do, but we'll, I'm hoping it can get rid of it, but at least it'll tell you what's going on. Uh, restore a backup restores a backup to this device so if some something's gone wrong with your iPhone the data is corrupt you can restore uh, backup all data stored on this device so that's a like a one button bang and it'll do everything export selected data um, now that's got everything selected at the moment you can turn all that off and like I'll show you soon I did an export of notes and then you export by pushing that button not going to do this because it'll take time i'll show you the end result in a minute and uh, what else have we got transfer to another another device uh, transfer some or all of the data from this device to another yeah there you go please connect another apple device and away you go uh, now look there are other buttons under here operating system you can update your um, ios reinstall ios I'm not sure, supervise this device and apply advanced configurations, apply a blue blueprint. Mm, I'm not sure what this is all about. And these are advanced. Um, I think you'll find these are for people who are really into system. Yeah, it is. So this would be for, like, this would be for people in IT management. There's a hell of a lot of inter interesting stuff there. Just go back to the overview. I think the most important thing, and look, I haven't even configured this. I've just left it at the, the standard configuration, and it has backed up everything. Now, um, so I said before that when I was down here and I had exported selected data, I thought I'd show you that. So we go into 
iPhone pics and video, iPhone notes. And there they are, all the notes in their glory, individual notes. By their dates, let's see what we got. There you go, 2024. Yep, all there. So, oh, and just, just quickly, um, you also, um, when you do it, like on the notes, it's not just backing up the, the just every single note. It's backing up the directories that are there. So you can find, if you've got a directory, it'll you'll find that directory with the notes that are in that directory, as you can see here. There. So, let's go back to this again. I want to show you what happens when you unplug the phone. I'll close that. I'll unplug that. Notice that that's still connected. I'll open that up. I'm now looking at the backup that's on this machine. Okay. And go into notes again. Display from the latest backup. Now, this is a little bit painful. It takes a little while because it's got to load. There we go. And then you come into your notes. I mean, I can actually copy that and copy and paste into something else. So, I think that just about covers it. Um, oh, location. Hang on. Tools. Ba -ba -ba. Ah, settings. Here we go. Sorry. Yeah, under settings. I forgot about this. Under settings, you can encrypt your backups. Backup location. And that's what I was looking for. Um, snapshots. I want it. So, backup snapshots are just that. They're snapshots. So, like, that's what's happening here. Let's say, for instance, I, I'm now accessing the data on this backup that's on this machine. Um, but let's say it's um, a couple of days since I backed this up. There might be some new information on this. So when you plug it in, it'll grab that new information, a snapshot of that, and add it to the backup. Now, this is one I do want to point out. If you come down and co connect, so enable Wi-Fi, and then come back up here to automatic, or enable automatic backups, I haven't done it, but it means that you can then set up a frequency by which your phone, when it's around this laptop or this wireless network, will automatically back up um, the latest files data from that phone to this device. So in essence, you don't have to think about it. You can, I mean, I personally prefer to do it myself, but I don't, I feel that I might get trapped into forgetting about the automatic backup. But as, way, if, if, as I said, if you are a busy person, this is a good way to go. Anyway, that's about it. Um, you know, device settings um, and I'm amazing settings. Look, uh, none of that's really relevant. I think I'm going to leave it at that. This is a great little piece of software and I highly recommend it. Yes, you have to. It is a subscription, unfortunately. It's not a huge amount. If I remember correctly, I think it's it might be, I think, from memory, $45 Australian a year. And to me, it's worth it. Peace of mind. One last thing, you can um, plug in other family members and have multiple iPhone backups. You could be the, you could be managing all that data for them. And one last thing is that I would then later go into where the backups are and back it up onto an external hard drive. That's just me, but, you know. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful to you and um, until next time, see you later.